guys so welcome back to my channel hope you guys are feeling good my name is Bukumi BK Crown so guys we're going to be checking out this video together titled move thick milk silence an entire Christian school with one answer what could it be let's find it out guys one day I was invited to a Christian school to speak and it was a girls school so I went to speak to them and the first question they told me is why do you have a beard? Why do you have a beard? So I said, what do you mean? They said, no, these are Talibans. Talibans. Mm. So Allah put it in my mind. This was a pure Christian school. You know, they had uh, idols that they have, little pictures and portraits and so on. I said, you know, to be very honest with you, we follow the prophets. And you know, I don't want to use the prophet Muhammad's example because you don't believe in him. We are talking now to Christians. Mm. But I want to tell you, when I walk in the streets of Harare, Harare is the capital of Zimbabwe, where I come from. When I walk in the streets of Harare, the small boys, they say, Jesu. You know what is Jesu? Jesus. Jesus. They say, there is Jesus walking. Mm. But when they see your priest, they don't say that. Are you following what I'm yeah. saying? When they see your priest, they don't say, there is Jesus walking. Mm -mm. I say, but why? The reason is, we follow Jesus as well. I did not see Jesus without a beard. Anyway, I saw him with robe and you drew the picture. I don't even believe that that is the proper picture because we are not allowed to make those pictures. Mm. But you drew the picture according to your picture. I am, I have got a beard. I look closer to him than any one of you. So they were quiet. So one other girl thought she was clever. So she said, but what about your women? Why are they also covered? Mm. You cover them. You know, this question comes up all the time. So I said, because we follow the mother Mary, mm -hmm. Finished. <laughs> closed. <laughs> Topic closed. Topic closed. Our hmm. women are closer dressed to what Christianity teaches than the Christians themselves. Hmm. We are purer in Christianity than the Christians themselves. Because look at the dress code, look at the morals, look at the conducts, look at how strictly we follow the Ten Commandments, look at how we would like to, you know, stop certain things from happening and so on. And every little while they find it creeping in. The church sometimes will allow homosexuality, they will allow, it changes. They change it in mm. order to get more people to follow. With us, even if no one is following, the Dean will remain. And still there will be people who will follow. So let us remember, when you want to think of answers and when you have discussed, you will have the answers. Hmm. So, um, one thing I notice about Muslims is that they practice what their religion teaches. So if, it's not only when they are going to mock that they, they wear the hijab, unlike we Christians sometimes, even though it's not really a bad thing, but so even though it's written in the Bible that cover your hair, uh, if not shave your hair, right? But mostly, one thing I love so much about them is that they're women, the ones that are truly, truly following the will of God, the will of Allah. They wear their hijab anywhere they're going to. Be it mugs, be it school, be it they want to go and buy something. Anywhere they're going to, they cover their head. They cover their head and it's a good cool thing. Is a good thing that the man said even so Muslims are more pure than some Christians and it's true some Christians like we don't practice what we teach we don't show that's what they say action speak louder than words we don't actually show what we we, we teach out there some of us we actually say and say one thing and we don't do it just imagine you say oh do this do this and you yourself you are not doing it you have to be an example one thing about muslims is that they love to be an example to each other they want people to follow their footstep the right way positively yes and the beers of the thing me i don't see any any big deal in you keeping beers but it's just kind of sometimes it's kind of weird when i see beers are so long i always pity the man i'll be like ah how is he trying because is it not inching you like how do you cope with the inching like no when you keep small beard it's still okay but very long beard man you guys are trying you're really trying like 
I'm just trying to put myself in your shoe. If I'll be able to keep beers like that, if I was a man, no. But it's really good. It's really good. Like the master said, he has never seen Jesus anywhere that does not have beers. So he's trying to be like Jesus. He's trying to practice everything that is inside the Quran. And as I said, you know, they don't force you to wear hijab. They don't force you to keep beer. It's comes willingly that's why islam the meaning of islam is total submission to the will of god they are totally submitting to the will of god that's why majority of them follow the footprint of prophet muhammad they follow what is in the quran yes i've reacted to a video like this before if you not check it out please check it out why men keep beers and why lady um wear hijab most of you misunderstood me I do not say that they are oppressing them. I said at first, first time I saw a woman wearing hijab from up to ground, I was like, ah, uh -uh, why, why is she not feeling odd? It's as if I don't say they are. It's, why is it looking as if they are pressing them? So please don't quote me wrong. A lot of people came at me and I was like, I didn't say what you guys are talking about. Sometimes you just need to, you know, try to understand my point of view. I'm, I will never be against that kind of thing. Never. It's good, but it was just weird to me the first time I saw, you know, um, a woman covering her body from head to ground. Wearing hijab is not too bad, but me seeing a cover or seeing some Muslim uh, women or ladies covering their their body from up to ground was weird. I was pitying them because under the hot sun, wearing black, you know what black does to you? It gives you heat, right? And the only thing I could see was a high ball. So please, I didn't mean it the way you guys know saw it. Uh, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, please go and check the video out. I'll be dropping it in the description box so that you get more understanding about this particular topic. This is just the tip of it like this is just a summary of what the man actually teach i i actually reacted to the full video of him talking about hijab and the bs please check it out thank you so much don't forget to smash the subscribe button guys thank you for watching like share comment i'll see you in the next one stay blessed bye